after the accident, it was kind of a blur just because all the medication, all the, the mayhem that was going around. But I look back on it now and realize the rec recognition we've gotten and the support we've gotten has uh, helped tremendously. And I'm sure the other guys would agree as well. It's been tons of physio uh, recovery in the hospital. Um, I spent time in Calgary and Saskatoon and Philadelphia. And uh, now I'm just continuing physio here in Calgary. I'm just working hard every day. Just started a sledge hockey recently, so I'm pretty proud of the recovery I've made in the, in the time period. Uh, there's still a lot to go. It sometimes it feels like it's been years, and sometimes it feels like it was yesterday. Um, it's been a lot of ups and downs, some some really significant downs, but the ups have been remarkable, and, uh, and the positivity that Brian has shown, and um, even in private, he, he's, you know, he had his moments in early days that were tough, but he's, uh, he's still maintaining that he's, he's going to, he's going to succeed wherever it takes him, and um, we're kind of telling him, I've told him from the beginning, and Tom said, whatever this path may lead you, we're going to be right there with you, and um, we're not ever going to give up on his end goal, um, uh, which is our goal for him as well, to walk again, and uh, that could, you know, it could take forever, it could take, you know, less time than we think. He doesn't think he's the inspiration, he thinks everyone else is for him, so, and he doesn't want to give up either, it means he might give up on the boys that were on the bus and the team, so... That's his drive, his community and the team. He came into the gym and we did everything we could to try and make him quit and try and have him stop and he took everything we threw at him and just got better. Um, and then we got to the point where uh, it was almost comical with the other players because nobody even wanted to compete with them really anymore. Or they didn't. They knew the punishments were coming because Ryan was probably going to win all the strength and endurance. Um, to the point where we started, you know, we we joked about him being a freak of nature, and uh, we started saying, you know, they're strong, and then they're Strav strong because the things that he could do were just off the charts. None of us could compete with them. We really look at where Ryan's at, and sometimes have to check ourselves and look at it and go, you know. If he's doing what he's doing, is what's in front of me that hard? Not really. And I think, I don't know if Ryan realizes the inspiration that he really is. Um, and I don't think it's something that he wakes up in the morning and goes, I have to go inspire people. He just has to go live his life and he's going to do it the way he always has, which is by working hard, getting better every day and setting his eyes on the next task and then achieving that task and then resetting another goal and going and crushing that and that's just who Ryan's always been and I think it's a testament to his family I think it's a testament to the support structure he has around him and then ultimately who he is as a person not everybody has the opportunity after tragic accidents to get into a sled and have, have a goal to get into the Olympics not everybody has the intestinal fortitude to set that goal and not everybody has the opportunity and support structure to, to achieve something like that so we should just smile and be happy with what we have and keep moving forward and tomorrow's a new day and we just got to get better and keep working towards what's next so you can you can be grumpy and upset about it or you can live life and go be great and I think with Ryan we choose to be great it's not over no matter what um, you know there's always other options and uh, honestly just never give up I know it sounds cliche and whatnot but uh, it's just that positive mentality and never giving up it'll, it'll take you places